neutrino is the smallest of the known particles. Uh, to make even one electron, you need to have uh, 10 million of them. And so, even though they are very small, for every atom, there's at least one billion neutrinos in the universe. And so I always say, uh, we are visitors in the neutrino universe. <laughs> there's many more of them than us. They have a big effect on the, on the distribution of elements in the universe. They are the ones who made all the heavy elements, the, the, the lead, the the gold, the silver, all comes from the uh, effects of neutrino interactions in the making of the elements. They also, um, they're also very interesting for physicists because they're almost like a different kind of matter. For a biologist, you might study animals or plants, and if you spent your whole career studying plants, and you saw your first animal, you'd go, oh, that's really different. And uh, so as particle physicists, we look at neutrinos and they don't seem to follow the rules. They're doing things that don't make sense to us. They change their form. They uh, seem to uh, have very strange quantum mechanical properties. And so we are interested just because they're very different than the, than the normal matter. We would like to know whether neutrinos actually are the reason why when we know there's uh, the physics of matter and the physics of antimatter, and uh, you know, we don't see any antimatter around. So in the universe, why did the antimatter get left? And the uh, antimatter is gone, and the matter is left. There must be some imbalance somewhere in the whole system. And so the suspicion is, is that the neutrinos did it in the Big Bang, that they actually favor the matter over the antimatter by a very, very, very small amount. And that was enough to give us the most of the universe of matter rather than antimatter. So we right now we want to build a very intense neutrino beam. And uh, there's, uh, we want to do that at a big accelerator in the United States. And then we want to shine it through the Earth, 1,300 kilometers, and see how the neutrinos interact for the matter and antimatter uh, in a laboratory uh, which is uh, in uh, another part of the United States. And so that will tell us whether or not the neutrinos actually are the, are the, likely, uh, the likely reason why there's matter rather than antimatter in the universe. And so that's, what, that's our main goal right now. I think many people know about the LHC and the discovery of the Higgs and the big international accelerator at CERN. And so this project is sort of like an attempt to make another facility for particle physics, which would be located in the United States, but will be operated by the international community rather than by, by a single country. And so, um, for instance, the head of the project right now, there's two people, uh, Mark Thompson from uh, Cambridge in the United Kingdom and uh, Andre Rubia from Switzerland are now the head. Um, I was one of the first heads, but it's gonna be rotating, and so people from different countries will, will lead the experiment. And um, this will, um, Basically, the Dune project would be uh, an international effort that, say, 30 or 40 countries would all contribute to. And everybody would build a part, and then everybody gets a seat at the table to operate it. So the U.S. is called the host country rather than, say, the, you know, the country that's going to run it. It'll actually be run by international collaboration, like, like CERN and the LHC. And so it's the only way you can make such a big facility. It, the total cost is going to be quite high. Uh, more than a country like the United States even can, can afford. Brazil has a, actually a long history of uh, involvement in neutrino physics. And so uh, as uh, we saw that one of the very first papers on neutrinos was in 1941, was written, one of the two people was from Sao, Sao Paulo. And, um, and since then, uh, there have been people working on different neutrino experiments around the world. They, um, I have worked with people in Brazil at least for eight years uh, on an experiment in France and uh, the Brazilian groups really um, are experts in uh, advanced electronics I found, uh, fiber optics and optical systems and those are really critical technologies for building neutrino detectors and so the Brazilian groups actually bring that technological expertise um, to the project and so uh, we're hoping that that will actually contribute to the DUNE project also.